got the wisdom in a way that will never change. Will never change. And that is the reason why Jewish people should never follow Christianity and any kinds of different methods that contradicts the simple and fundamental rules of Judaism. And that's why we cannot accept on ourselves the so-called prophecies of Muhammad and the Quran, because even if we can appreciate, definitely can appreciate honest people, truthful people, if they are Christians or Muslims, it does not allow us to follow their conclusions and their wisdom. It might be that for you guys, you got that wisdom and you need to follow it, maybe. But we have a clear prohibition to follow a prophet that is not coming from our nation, from our people. And as well, we're not allowed to follow a prophet since the day of the destruction of the second temple. And if our sages opened our eyes and the righteous commentaries and big true righteous people that lead, led us until today, like the Rambam, like the Ramban, real righteous people, that there is no doubt to the purity of their mind and to the holiness of their true intention of opening the eyes of people to find the truth and to live good life. If they warned us from false methods, we should never follow those ways. And therefore, we are loyal to the original text and to the original wisdom that was handed to us by the maker of the universe. Now, everyone in the world, everyone that has simple faith, knows and believes in the holiness and purity of the nation of Israel. Now, people today, they're choosing many of them are choosing not to follow the ancient traditional truth that is showing that the people of Israel were chosen for their humility, for their good attributes, for certain qualities that are the structure of our being, because we are the descendants of those holy messengers that delivered the light. You can say that King David was, I don't know what. You can make up theories and stories to say that Moses was like this, Moses was like that, that Aaron was like this, that King Solomon was like this, that the prophet Daniel was like this. You can, you can make up stories, fantasy stories, and to make yourself believe in those methods, in those ideas that you're developing. But the only original and ancient scripts are written in Hebrew and are being held in our hands. And we know how to read them. And we know how to reach them. And we know how to understand them. We have the ability to open them up for you and to share that wisdom with you. Now, it's true. Not every Jewish person is <laughs> such a, a bargain. Not all Israeli people are something that you must learn from. You have many people, many Jews, many Israeli peoples who are not perfecting their attributes and not being a holy role model uh, to the nations to shine the light. But the fact that you have certain people who are not holding in that high level of being the light to the nations does not disqualify a whole nation from the purpose and essence of their creation. Now, we are here for that purpose. This is why we're here. 
We are here to shine the light of Hashem to the world, for everyone to know Him, for everyone to recognize Him. Now He built that world in that way that His unconditional love and loving kindness will shine and spread around the world, among the nations, for everyone to be able to know Him. So we are here to spread the truth. And this is why the wisdom was translated in the first place to Greek and then to different languages, to Arabic and to English. And the purpose of it was that the light will shine among the nations for many people, as many as possible, to learn the truth and to come closer to Hashem. But without simple humility, a certain acceptance of reality to understand that we are here to teach, that we are here to guide you, that we are here to open the gates of wisdom for you guys to learn and to understand and to come closer to Hashem based on the great advice and wisdom that been shared with us. We haven't wrote the book, we haven't write, re, write the Bible. The Bible was given to Moshe by Hashem. Você está assistindo Emoná Português. Seu apoio nos ajuda imensamente. Por favor, inscreva-se, curta e deixe-nos um comentário com qualquer dúvida que você tenha. O melhor de tudo é simplesmente compartilhar este vídeo, ajudando essas mensagens de fé a chegarem a todas as pessoas. Não importa a sua origem. Fique bem e Shalom!